What's going on, Nation? Today is Sunday, October 6th. This is your SHF Weekly Update. So the moment you've all been waiting for, the two winners of the Instagram contest that I posted almost two weeks ago, and I did pick the winners on Sunday, last Sunday, but I was traveling with Erica. We were at the Olympia in Vegas for Olympia weekend, and it was just insane. Internet connection there was horrible, and we didn't get home until late, I mean, early Monday morning. And so it just, I figured, you know what? Um, I'll just do the post today. So I did the post today on Facebook, and the two winners, the male winner was DW Short 185, and the female winner was Liz Bliz. If you guys want to see exactly what they posted, I just reposted their posts on the Facebook page, and I did something quick on Instagram as well. But the reason why I chose each winner was for different reasons. The DW Short 185, which was our male winner, I chose him because he told a story of triumph, where basically he went to go meet someone to buy a gift card, bought the gift card, and then the, what ended up happening was the person he bought it from reported that it was stolen and canceled it, so the gift card was for like $450, and the kid was advertising selling it for $350, which isn't unheard of because there's a lot of websites where you can actually cash in your gift cards if you want the cash. So obviously if you're buying a gift card for cash, you can buy it cheaper because you can use cash anywhere. The gift card can only be used at the store, which I'm sure most of you guys know this, but I just didn't want you to think that he was crazy for trying to pay less money for a gift card because it does happen. So anyways, the kid screwed him over and he went home and he took action and he called the police and he pretended to be someone else, called the same kid, kid agreed to meet him again a couple days later and he got the kid caught. And that is awesome. I feel like not enough people in today's society take action. And taking action doesn't mean having to go to the extreme that DW Short did, but just doing something is better than nothing. And I'm, I'm happy that everything worked out and everyone is safe. And I hope he got his money back because that yet is yet to remain unclear. But you know, maybe now this thief will think twice or maybe he'll give up being a thief altogether and he learned his lesson. So good things will come out of this. And for Liz Bliz, the female winner, told a great story how her boyfriend is a huge fan of SHF. He's a mega hermit, he's training hard, he's always pushing himself. She made some DBZ references, which is always a good thing. And I just thought it was a selfless act for her to reach out for a prize for her boyfriend. And she did also mention that he's a good dad and she wants him to propose and she's hoping that this would do it. So she won and this is a pretty cool thing for a girlfriend to do. Not too many girlfriends would do that. So I think you need to put a ring on it. You already got the supplements so you can save some money. Put a ring on that finger. So congratulations to both of you guys. That's awesome. And I did a, I did a fun post for that on Facebook too. You guys can read it. So those are the BSN winners. Sorry it took so long. Moving on with the Sunday update, Erica and I went to Vermont to go on a haunted Halloween corn maze yesterday. And it was really cool. My dad's been going to this place forever. I finally was able to go up there and make it with him. And what this guy does is he owns a farm and then he basically makes a maze in the corn and he has all kinds of people in there to scare the crap out of you as you walk through it. And they also have like these fun houses and scary houses and stuff that you can walk through. It was really cool. I guess the, the, the guy is having the Travel Channel come this month. They're going to do a story on them. So you guys watch the Travel Channel, you might see it. If you see Haunted Maze, Corn Maze in Vermont, that's the one I went to. So that was really cool. We had a lot of fun. I posted a photo yesterday. And then uh, obviously last weekend was at the 2013 Olympia, which was a lot of fun. And you guys, you guys asked me a lot of questions about the show, like how was the show? How do people do this, that, and the other thing? I never get to leave the booth. I'm at the BSM booth the entire time I'm there unless I'm either going to the bathroom or eating. So <laughs> I don't really get to see much of the show, but I was rooting for Kai Green. I was really excited that a couple of our own BSN athletes were up on stage. Guy was, Sistrano was on stage and Roly Winkler was on stage. And I was really happy to see Roly back on stage. He's been injured for a while. So this is his first time on there, I think almost a year, but I thought Kai Green was going to win it, but Phil Heath happened to take it again. Obviously, they both look great, but I was kind of hoping for Kai Green. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below as to who you thought should have won or who you were rooting for. Saturday exercise explosion. As you can see, there's nothing up here. That's my fault. Um, been a little 
A little crazy over the past couple weeks. Uh, last weekend in Vegas, there was absolutely no internet connection, so it kind of screwed me over. And then this week has been a lot of video editing, and I haven't made the official announcement yet on Facebook, although it has been mentioned by a couple of Hermanites. I'm just waiting for a couple other things to do my official announcement. But if you're watching this video, I'll tell you, I just signed with Lionsgate. They have their own YouTube channel called BeFit, and it's really exciting for us. We're super excited to be in line with a company such as Lionsgate. If you guys don't know, Lionsgate is behind Biggest Loser, and they've basically done every fitness video you've ever seen. So we're super excited, and we're honored to join the Lionsgate family. And I actually will have two DVDs hopefully coming out in December. And right now, you can check out some of the content on the BeFit channel. And with any luck, they'll be out in December and you guys can take them home and you can do the workouts with me in your house on DVD format, which is pretty cool. So we're really excited about that. I'm sorry about the sad exercise explosions. I promise you guys, I'm back on track as of maybe like three days ago. So I'm already back on track. <laughs> Tuesday tune-up. Um, I'm gonna just recap the last couple weeks. I didn't do a Sunday update to the week before. Uh, we had a video called Two Exercises for Bigger Bicep Peaks, which basically there's the bicep, which means bi, which means there's two parts of the bicep. So these are two exercises that you can do to work on the bicep brachii, which is the outside of the bicep, to hopefully increase your peak. Now obviously this is going to highly depend on, like the shape of your muscles depends on your genetics, but you can always improve those genetics by exercising and eating correctly. So. Make sure you check out this video, try the exercises. A lot of you guys have already seen it and left some comments that you loved it. I'm happy to hear that. And so this week I posted a routine, four rounds of rapid fire. And this was a body weight routine. All you needed was a, a stable surface or a stable something to do pull-ups on. So if you want to do this exercise at home, you can use an iron gym, which is basically like a pull-up station you can hang in your doorway, or you can find a railing or something, go outside, use a tree, doesn't matter. You can do this routine anywhere. And it, what it was is a circuit, you know, of just doing these exercises in a circle and completing four rounds. And I know I saw some of your comments, you guys were like, oh, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than it was. Those cannonballs, man, those cannonballs absolutely kill you. I hate them, that's why I put them in this routine. I was like, okay, I'm only gonna do a few exercises. What can I do that I absolutely hate? And I was like, oh, I'll do cannonballs. So <laughs> glad you guys liked it. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out right here. And then this coming Tuesday, I'm gonna release a video talking about squat form. I've had a couple questions about hand placement and feet placement and how to find what works best for those, both of those things, hand placement and feet placement. And the thing is, it changes. It depends if you're doing a high bar, it depends if you're doing a low bar, it depends on how flexible you are. So I'll go over some stretches that you can do to hopefully improve your flexibility. And then I'll talk about how to find the best hand placement when doing a squat as well as foot placement. Last couple things, fan art winner of the week this week was Alexander Rogerick. Thank you so much for this photo. I absolutely loved it. It kind of reminded me of like the Terminator. So I thought that was really cool. And a lot of you guys, um, you'll send me stuff throughout the year, which is kind of like this. And I don't know if I would call it Halloween, but for me, during Halloween, I like to post some of the creepier ones. And this is like one of the, the creepier, cool ones where I'm like an android. So I thought it was perfect for Halloween to kick off this month. So thank you so much, Alexander. And for those of you who have been asking how to participate in the fan art contest, all you need to do is just post your fan art on the Facebook page. Because as you guys know, I go through all the posts on a daily basis. And that's how I find the photos and I save them. So thank you so much. I really love this photo. And the last thing, my birthday is coming up on October 18th. And what that means is I'm going to be 29 years old. I know, still look like I'm 18. It's the good genetics. I gotta thank my parents for that. <laughs> so birthday's coming up October 18th. I'm really excited. Uh, I like celebrating my birthday, especially it's, it's, it's basically the one time where my friends have no excuse but to drop whatever they're doing to come over and hang out like we used to, which is, what I enjoy more than getting any kind of gift. I just like being around my friends and family. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm few, I know a few of you guys were asking when my birthday was. Well, now you know. And gifts are accepted. <laughs> or you can just say happy birthday. That's cool too. Still means a lot to me. 
That's your SHF weekly update. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Had a great weekend. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.